Here is the menu-driven program with some of the logic added. I added all of the logic to main, and main, remember, is where the program is going to start in a console application. So everything you saw in that flowchart earlier is now here. Let's step through this and see what's going on. Um, we created a string variable called choice. Now the reason it's a string is when we get input from the console. To get input from the console, you're going to do console.readLine. Whatever is input on that line and the user hit, hits enter will go into choice. And that always returns a string variable, so there's no sense converting data types. Note that when I go through um, the multiple alternative decision with the switch, I am using um, quotes around the numbers, making the being sure that I'm testing against a string. So we've got a string variable choice. Here is what we call the priming read. Choice is also our loop control variable. So choice has to have a loop control variable has to have three things done. It needs to be initialized. And here it is initialized here. And we're initializing it through a read before the loop occurs on the loop control variable. So we call that a priming read. We're displaying the menu. We're getting the choice from the user. Then we're starting our loop logic. And the rest of the program is mainly in the loop here. And then calling all the subprograms inside the loop. So while choice is not equal to 5, we're going to either, if it's 1, we're going to call the new customer subprogram or method. Now let me come down to the new customer method. This is how you call must method that doesn't that has a void here. It doesn't return a value. All you do is indicate the name of the method. Now let me go ahead and show you. I'll just type this in. As you type in a method name, as you're beginning to enter it, you see that it comes up in the IntelliSense. So let me just do that. Again, we're going to always add the parenthesis when we're calling a method name. I don't want to really do that, so I'll take that out. I just want to demo the IntelliSense. So now, as long as the choice is not 5, we go into the loop. This is the switch. What is choice, it's saying? Is it 1? We'll call new customer. Notice the switch. You have a break after each of the individual decisions are made. Here we're calling each of the subprograms. The default is the fall through if the user entered 99 or something. So in the fall through, I give them an error message. I clear the window and I redisplay the menu. Um, sometimes you no might notice we're getting an awful lot of curly braces here. So if you put a click, if you click right to the right of it, you'll see the matching curly brace. But what I've done here, here's line 47, I see matches line 27, so this is the end of the switch. I went ahead and added a line comment after each one so that I know what the curly brace is coding. That closing, that's a good hint. It's a good way to debug your code because those curly braces, sometimes you're not sure what's cl closing what. Okay, so when we get to this part, we, have, we are still in the loop. We're outside of the switch, so we're ready now to display the menu again. So I clear the window, console.clear clears the window, we display the menu, and we get the choice again, then it loops back up. If the choice is 5, what happens? Well, it doesn't go into the loop. So if it doesn't go into the loop, it goes here after the end while, and there's no instructions. It just ends main, and whenever you end main, you end your program. So a choice of 5 will do that. Here is the display menu. Notice it's nothing but a bunch of console.writeLine. So this is how you do output to a console, console.writeLine. And in parentheses, you're just going to put your string literals or string variables in here. If you do a console.writeLine with nothing inside the parentheses, these are called arguments, then it just does an, em an empty string. It's like an extra enter. Again, helps with the readability. And then a prompt for the choice. When it gets to here, it's all done this, and it returns up to the statement after the call. Okay, so if I, this was the display menu call, then it returns here where it's getting the choice.